Pyle, USMC. Starring Jim Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. Also starring Frank Sutton as Sergeant Carter. Any time, Vince. Any time at all. I'm, I'm counting on you, McGuire. All right. You ready? Again. Going on 27. Ah. <laughs> well, old buddy, it appears you owe me another steak dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice work, Peter. Hey, look, can't your boys do anything better than mine? This endless winning streak is getting to be kind of a bore. Yeah, well, it ain't gonna last forever, Hacker. One of these days. Sure, sure. But if you'll excuse me, I gotta go change. I wanna look my best for dinner tonight. You can pick me up around 8. Theory. <laughs> Mars, another day, Sergeant. Luck. I never saw a guy with so much luck. One of these days. Morning, Sergeant. Did you have yourself a nice dinner with Sergeant Hacker last night? And wasn't that feller he is good at his setups? Up, down, just as fast as you could count. Up, down, up, down. All right, all right. And you took it so nicely, Sergeant. That's one of the things I admire most about you, is you're such a good loser. Well, I've had an awful lot of practice lately. But it's a wonderful virtue. My daddy used to always say back home, anybody can be a good winner, but it takes a whole lot to be a good loser. Yeah, yeah, and it takes a heap of living to make a house home. Will you just clean the windows? That hacker. I have to listen to his big mouth every day, and I have to favor his meals every night. This is even worse than being married. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry, Vince. You'll catch up to him yet. You'll see. Well, it'll better happen sooner. I'll have to quit the Marines and sign up for the poverty program. These guys have been beating ours in everything. Football, baseball, basketball, what's left, huh? Knitting, mahjong, what? Hey, Sarge, we're in. Wait till you hear this. What is it, Slater? This is Larson, one of the new men we got in on those transfers. Yeah, I know so. So you know what Larson was before he joined up, Sarge? An archery instructor. Archery? Archery, you know, bows and arrows. So he's good at archery, so what? Oh, I mean, he's really good, Sarge. Good enough, I would say, to put your money on. I mean, a real pro. Archery, huh? And you're pretty good? Well, I taught at the Y. He's got a room full of trophies at home from contests, Sarge. Tell him, Larson, don't be so modest. You mean you actually did this bow and arrow shooting in competition? Well, I won a few. No kidding! <laughs> That. We can knock old Hacker off with a bow and arrow. That's what I mean, Sarge. Welcome to the first platoon. Come on, let's get over the wreck hut and grab some equipment. Bows and arrows. How about that? Hacker's out there. Look, we gotta keep this under wraps. Slater, you get Larson back to the barracks, the back door, and see that he keeps rested. Right, Sarge. Come on, boy. You and me grab the equipment. Right, Sarge. Sergeant, anything you want me to do? Huh? Oh, uh, no, nothing. I want you to stay clear of this. I don't want any follow-ups. Archery. How about that? Well, well, my old friend, Sergeant Hacker. Did you enjoy your steak dinner last night? Fine, fine, like always. Good, good. We'll have to do it again sometime. Oh, uh, by the way, you did say you would compete with us in anything, didn't you? Good. I'll be able to see you a little later. Ah, it's a lovely morning, isn't it, Boyle? Just lovely. See you later, Jensen. Hi, Sergeant Hacker. Oh, hi, Pyle. Hey, you're doing a good job in those windows. Well, thank you kindly. Corners still need another touch, though. You know, Corners is such a gathering place for dirt and grime, and once it gets baked in there, why? Well, yeah, yeah. Like... Well, you see, I just brought over the movie schedule for Sergeant Carter. Uh, he's not here, huh? No, sir, you must have just missed him. Any idea where he's off to? Oh, yeah, he went over to the recreation hut to get the archery equipment. Archery? Mm -hmm. You know, bows and arrows. 
Oh, archery. Say, I didn't know he went in for that. Oh, it wasn't for him. It's for this new fellow we just got in. He used to teach it at the Y. Oh, he did, huh? Mm-hmm. He's won contests and everything. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> well, don't forget those corners. Oh, I won't. On account of once that dirt gets baked in there, it's really hard to get out. I remember one time back home, I never could get it out. <laughs> is 14, a blue is 5, and a bullseye, that makes... 28 points! Hey, you hear that? 28 <laughs> points! <laughs> it's your turn, old friend. I can taste that steak already. Well, I suppose it had to happen sometime. Yeah, well... <laughs> okay, you, yellow bear. <laughs> What'd you call him? Yogi Bear? <laughs> Not Yogi Bear, Yellow Bear. Charlie Yellow Bear. He just transferred our outfit. Yellow Bear? What kind of name is that? Well, what would you expect, seeing he's a full-blooded Indian? <laughs> Indian? Oh, yeah. Beautiful! Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, got to shoot, pal. Hey. Hey. I won't about that, Sergeant. A real honest, gosh, Indian. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Shazam! Boy, that's awful good boy and I in, Charlie. Just about the best I've ever seen. Wasn't that good, Sergeant? Shooting like that makes you wonder why the Indians never did beat the white man. They just did. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Hackett. Where did you get that yellow bear, anyway? Oh, that. Well, I needed a replacement, so I went over to headquarters and I checked some personnel records there. Yeah? Yeah, I come across yellow bear. He's in Parker's platoon. And when I find out he's an archery expert, I go over and talk him into joining my outfit. Because you never know when you're going to need an archery expert. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yeah. Uh, the uh, Bluebird Cafe tonight? Yeah, yeah, the Bluebird. Uh, say, Vince, could we make it a little later tonight? Say, around 9 o'clock? Or two hours after the sun go down behind TP? <laughs> <laughs> It's four o'clock. Hey, Pyle! You'll find Persky over at the mess hall. Tell him I gotta borrow ten bucks. And get that stuff back to the wreck hut. Yes, sir. Boy, wasn't that Indian... On the double! Move it! Move, move, move! Oh. <laughs> he did it to me again. He must have got tipped off about the archery. Showing up at an archery contest with an Indian. Funny. Very funny. There's got to be a leak in this organization, and when I find out who... Hey, Sergeant, Corporal. Well, what are you doing here? I told you to pick up that dough from Persky. Oh, I did. Here it is. Yeah. And I took all that archery equipment back to the wreck hut. Already? Uh-huh. Sergeant told me to do it on the double, and that's just what I've done. I run every step of the way. What's this? Oh, that's the movie schedule. Sergeant Hacker brought it over and wanted to give it to you personal, but I explained you was out getting the archery equipment. Oh. oh. You explained to him that I was out? So that's why. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there had to be a big mouth somewhere. I might have known it was Pyle. Pyle, you were in for it. You see this? Take a good look at it, because that's all you're going to be seeing for a week. You're going to scrub down this hut, you're going to scrub down the barracks, the mess hall, the wreck hall. My one chance to climb back. Wait a minute, you did you to... say that you ran to the mess hall, the wreck shack, and back? Boy, do you mind? You're going to have dishpan hands and knees and feet. But, Sarge, <laughs> don't you see? That's over a mile and a half. So? Why, he ran it in less than nine minutes. He ran all that way in less than nine minutes. Over a mile and a half. Nine minutes? That's good, ain't it? It's better than good, it's crazy. You've got a track star on your hands. Yeah. 
Well, if I don't do all that swabbing, I guess I better get started. Swabbing? What swabbing? <laughs> like a little joke. <laughs> As if I'd ever want you to do anything like that. Here, come on over here and sit down. Take it easy. That's right. Uh, have a cigar. Uh, no, no, it's, it's bad for you, Wendy. Oh, look, Pyle. How come you get to run like this? Well, back home when I used to work at the filling station, I was a volunteer fireman, too. And whenever the alarm would go off, I'd have to drop whatever I was doing and run down there to the fire station. Well, it was about a mile. So unless I made it in four or five minutes, I'd lose my place on the truck. And I wouldn't get to ring the bell. So you ran the mile in four or five minutes. I had to or I wouldn't get to ring the bell. So I practiced on running. Otherwise, Farley Upchurch would get to ring the bell. And I sure did like to ring that bell. Is it possible? We could clock them to make sure. Right. Now look, Pyle, uh, get back to the barracks and get some rest. Then meet us here tonight at 8 o'clock, right after dark. Only don't tell nobody about this. Nobody. Right, Sergeant. But well, what's it all about? Well, Pyle, if it works out, I'm going to give you a chance to ring the bell for me. <laughs> <laughs> Two more to go. How's this time? You wouldn't believe it. How about that? Who could figure that Pyle would be the one to bail me out? I can't understand it, but there it is. At last, we got a winner, a real winner. And Hacker will never suspect because it's Pyle. Hey, here he comes again. Keep at it, Pyle. You can run in the ring that bell. Go, crazy legs, go. <laughs> Now I've heard everything. What do you mean your squad is more mobile? Just like I said. All right, you got your guys doing push-ups and set-ups until they're muscle-bound. That's yesterday's stuff. We're geared for today. Speed is what counts. Run fast, hit fast. I trained them that way. My guys are like grease lightning, any one of them. Come <laughs> on. Oh, it's the truth. Any one of my guys can pass any one of your guys like he was standing still. That you'll have to show me. Uh, it's easy to prove. Let's have a race. We've had every other kind of contest. Let's have a race. A race, huh? Sure. And this time, let's make it more interesting. Not just for the blue plate and his crummy diner. Let's make it for a steak dinner with all the trimmings at the Go-Go Club. The Go-Go Club? I could run 20 bucks. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, Vince, you wouldn't happen to have a ringer lined up, would you? Why, Sergeant, I said any one of my guys, I'll even let you pick them. Here, I just happen to have a roster of all the men in my platoon. What could be more fair? Go ahead, pick them. We'll make it for one mile on Saturday afternoon. Do you mind? How can you smoke them ropes anyway? Let's see, uh... Masters. He's that little guy, Andy. Check. Masters it is. Hey, just a minute. Not so fast. What's that crossed out here? Crossed out? Uh, nothing. Nothing, huh? Is nothing spelled Goma Pyle? <laughs> well, it's just that... You know Pyle, he's, he's... He's a member of your platoon, right? He's one of your Grease Lightning boys, right? Well, what? he's the one I pick. And the bet is on for the big spread at the go-go. Yeah, but you... No buts. It's Pyle or no race. Okay. I'll go with Pyle. <laughs> You see, Pyle, we really should try another time trial tonight. After all, the big race is tomorrow. If you say so, Sergeant. Yeah, so uh, do just like you did the other night. Ready? Uh, go! Just like I've been figuring, there's something fishy. Get out your stopwatch. Come on, Pyle, let her rip. How's this time? He's even faster than before. Hit it, Pyle, a big strong finish now. You got his time? Well, how is it? Either this watch is busted or we're gonna be. He's that good, huh? Can Yellow Bear take him? Never. Looks like Carter's finally gonna win one, and a big one. What a rotten trick. Getting sucked in by that marked list. And the worst of it is to think that a chowder head like Pyle is gonna do it. Well, they were about to do. Hold the phone. That's it. We can still win because Pyle is a chowderhead. All his strength is in his feet. He's got nothing upstairs. So? So he'll believe anything. 
Leave it to me. I'm about to knock him off with some psychological warfare. Come on. Uh, nice going, pile. Good. Now, back to the barracks pile and get a good night's sleep. I'll run it again for you if you want me to, Sergeant. No, no. Save your strength for the big one tomorrow. All right, Sergeant. Whatever you say. Good night. Hey, good night, pile. How about that, Vince? He was all set to run it again. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day. With a runner like that, I ain't settling for no steak dinner. Huh? First thing in the morning, we start picking up all the bets we can get. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look at that. Some prize knucklehead's getting awful careless. What is it? It's still lit. Somebody was just out here watching. Maybe clocking. Not just somebody. Can't you smell that? That's one of them crooked cigars that Hacker smokes. Hacker? Then he knows how fast Pile is. Yeah. Still, what can he do about it now? All he knows is that he's beaten. Not Hacker. He don't play square like we do. He'll try to come up with some crooked trick. Well, like what? Let's see. If I was Hacker, and I knew Pyle could win it, what would I do? Hey, Sergeant Hacker. Are you looking for Sergeant Carter? No, no, I... I was gonna go to the movies, but, well, I wouldn't enjoy myself. You wouldn't? No, I couldn't. You'll understand when you're a Sergeant, Pyle. When one of your men is about to suffer sorrow, there's... there's no laughter in the world for you, either. One of your... Who? Charlie Yellow Bear. Sweet, trusting Charlie Yellow Bear. What's wrong with Charlie? Nothing now, but... Well, I hate to think what'll happen tomorrow if somehow he should happen to lose that race. He's running against you, you know. You mean that foot race? Why, that's just a little sporting contest. <laughs> to you, but not to Charlie. Let me explain. You know that, that Yellow Bear has served out his full hitch. And in a few more days, he'll be leaving the Marines. Then he goes back to the lodges of his fathers, deep in the pine forests of Gitche <laughs> But what a tragedy. If the last memory this noble red man has of service for his great white father in Washington is that of failure and defeat. Do you know what pride means to the noble red man? Especially Yellow Bear, who wants so badly to be a legend in his tribe. But he's good. He's feist. What makes you think he won't win? He's fast, all right. But let's face it, Pyle, you're faster. Well, Sergeant Hacker, are you trying to tell me that I should let him win? It's not for me to say, Pyle. It's for you to search your own heart and decide. But let me remind you that if you win, it's only a little sporting contest. But if Yellow Bear wins, you will have given dignity, pride, and meaning to his life at the moment he needs it most as he reluctantly sets aside the uniform of his adopted country. Vince, you don't think he'd try to Shanghai pile, do you? I don't know. I do know he'll be trying something. You think he might try to rough him up? Well, just to be on the safe side, one of us better stay close to pile right up until race time tomorrow. It's an opportunity that few of us have in our lifetime, pile. A rare opportunity. It has been written that Sometimes a man can truly win by losing. That's what my daddy always said. Anybody can be a good winner, but it takes a lot to be a good loser. A wise man, your father. <laughs> Kyle, I'm only asking you to do what's right. Must this man go back to his tribe smarting with defeat to be scorned and laughed at? Must he sit by the ashes of the cooking fires with the squaws to gnaw on bones and table scraps they toss to him? <laughs> oh, by your good deed. Will he return with head held high, feathers in the wind, to lead a long, happy, useful life for many moons to come, until at long last he goes to the happy hunting ground? <laughs> and the legend of Charlie Yellow Bear will be told with respect around the council fires for generations to come. <laughs> It over, son. I know it won't be easy, but I know you'll do the right thing. Peace. Vince, we better get in there and straighten Pile out. Wait a minute. It's not going to be that easy. If there's one thing I know, it's how Pile's mind works. That stuff Hacker was handing him is just what Pyle eats up. A chance to help out a poor, deserving unfortunate. Yeah, but we could explain... Him. Explain what? We want to clean up making bets on him? You know Pyle and gambling. 
so we're back in the red again. Oh. Now that we know Hacker has the race fixed, we can ride along on his work and clean up, too. Yeah? Yeah. Now, here's what you do first. Let the news leak out the pilot's terrific. Let him spread it around just how fast he is so some outsiders can get in on the action. You got it? Yeah, and then? And then we switch over to the Indian. I want all the bets we can get down by race time tomorrow put right smack on that noble red man. <laughs> on your march. Get set. Go! <laughs> And may the best man win. My thoughts exactly. Pure sportsmanship. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, keep an eye on him, Slater. Right, Sarge. <laughs> Vince, you think Pyle's gonna go through with it? I mean, throw it? That's not a nice way to put it. It's an act of human kindness, and Pyle does a lot of them things. Get some more dough down on Yellow Bear. <laughs> Come on, Pyle! Let her rip! Now, how did you win, Slater? Pyle's in front of about a yard. <laughs> Sarge. He's just making it look good. Don't worry. Pile still in front. Pile still ahead. Sarge. Just making it look good. Don't worry. <laughs> Coming past the motor pool. Pile still out in front. Pile still ahead. Pile a good 10 yards in front. I don't like it, Sarge. Pile is still leading. The only thing that counts is the finish. And believe me, poor little yellow bear will get the blue ribbon and I'll get the blonde ribbon. <laughs> yeah, well, Pyle better start fading fast. They're on their way back. Here they come. Pyle's still out in front. Come on, give it to him. Come on, you yellow bear. Come on, move it, yellow bear. Come on, move, 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 yellow bear. Come on, yellow bear. Come on, move, yellow bear. Move, move, yellow bear. I don't see I did. You're yelling for my guy. Huh? Well, if you must know, wise guy, I'm on to that story you gave Pyle. Not only did it affect him, but it made me puddle up, too. So I put a bundle on Yellow Bear. Thanks a lot, old buddy. You're gonna make me a rich man. Of course, you're gonna win a steak dinner, but I'm gonna clean up on a bunch of outside bets. Huh? Huh? Who outsmarted who? Hey, here's the finish. I'm on, Yellow Bear! <laughs> We finally won something. Did it ring the bell for you like you say it? Look at the sergeant so happy he can't even talk. <laughs> and Sergeant Hacker, about what you said, well, you don't have to worry anymore about Charlie Yellow Bear. I had a talk with him right before we had the race, and I told him now that he had a fine sergeant like you worrying about all his problems, that he ought to stay in the Marines. So guess what? He's going to re-enlist. <laughs> well, one more thing. Charlie and me's going to start practicing running together, and he's going to teach me how to shoot the bow and arrow, and we're going to get to be real good friends. Yes, sir, real good friends, just like you and Sergeant Carter. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Let's go see all the folks. <laughs> It'll be six months before I can pay off all the dough I lost in that race. Well, at least you get a dinner out of it. Who can eat? <laughs> Sergeant Persky came by twice this morning looking for that 50 you all. That pile, oh, that pile. He'll never get a chance to cross me again. Hey, some guys are following us. Huh? One of them looks like Persky. Hey, come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's ought to do it. We'll wait here. Sarge. Nah, like the shadows of the night. Ten years of camouflage. <laughs> Oh, hi, Persky. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was just looking for you. Sure. Out here in the bushes? Hey, how did you know we were out here? Hey, Sergeant. It worked just well. Charlie Yellowbear here's been teaching me how to track just like the Indians do. And I tracked you right here to this place, and here you are. How about that? Uh, yeah. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> 